Hello everybody, this is a tutorial on how to set up, connect and also use your Algada H360 which will capture gameplay at 60 frames per second. In this video I'll be doing an unboxing showing you the cables that come with it, the software you need on your PC and also how to use sound if you have a headset and uh, Algada chat link which you can purchase online. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you just want to take your Algada out of the box and inside it will open up like the HD there and then the cables are here. The first thing you're going to want to do is download this software. This enables you to capture the footage which you're playing onto your PC. I'll leave the link in the description, but you have to download this. So once you type in the web address, as you can see there, this is what the page will look like. So all you want to do is you want to scroll down, and if you're on Windows, you should want to download this one right here. And if you're on Mac, you want to go down and download this version right yeah, so it's all very simple and once it's downloaded it will look like that one there and the sound capture will come with it and that's just so you can capture sound okay so now you've got the software you can start on doing the unboxing so here you have the Elgato this is the side labeled the HDMI input the USB cable and then the sound device. On the other side, the HDMI output. Make sure you remember these two. Output's on the side with the HD60, and input is the side with the three inputs. And then in here you have two cables. You have the USB cable, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. And you have the HDMI input and output, which you'll use to connect to the HDMI output of the Elgato. Okay, so now go to your PlayStation and look in the back. There will be a HDMI, as you can see this one here. All you're gonna have to do is find, hold on to it, follow it, and it'll be connected to the TV. And what you want to do is just pull it out. Okay, now you're going to do is take that HDMI output which you just took from your TV or monitor and place it into the Elgato HDMI input. Just like that. So now this means that the footage is going from your PlayStation into the Elgato and will soon be output back out to the monitor via the other HDMI cable. So now it should look like this. You've got the cable going from the PlayStation into the Elgato for the input of the Elgato. Now you want to take the double-ended HDMI which you've got with your box in your Elgato and place one of the ends into the HDMI output of the Elgato and the other end <coughs> into the TV or monitor. So now you've got the HDMI output which is open. So you need to put this into there. Just like that. And then the other end goes back into the TV where you originally took it out from. And then your whole Elgato is connected from the PlayStation going down up through into the Elgato and then back out through the TV. So nothing's actually changed, but now the footage is going via the Elgato. The next step to being able to capture game footage via the Elgato is taking the USB cord which came with the Elgato and taking the smaller end and just simply plugging it into that one there. So you plug it into there, the smaller end, which is the only one that will fit into the Elgato. And then you take the other end and plug it into your PC laptop, which will be which you downloaded the Elgato software onto. So now, if you have connected all of it correctly, when you turn your PlayStation on, it should glow red, just like that. That's when you know your Elgato is properly connected, and you can now use it to capture gameplay. Okay, so next on your PlayStation, you want to go to the Settings tab, and then go all the way down to System. And then when you get to this, you want to make sure this enable HDCP box is unticked. It has to be unticked. If it's ticked, then you won't be able to record for your gallery. And when you untick it, it'll come up with some boxes saying it will now reboot your system and whatever, but just let it do that. But then you can now record with your gallery. And then the other thing you're going to want to do, go on up to sound and screen, video output settings, and resolution, you want to have it on 1080p. Automatic's fine, but 1080p is good just to be sure. 
Okay, so now that you've done all this, you're finally ready to set it up. You just go onto the Game Capture HD app and just double click it and it should open up. However, if it doesn't open up like me, when I first downloaded it, I clicked on it and nothing would happen, it wouldn't give me an error message, it just wouldn't open. If it does that, just delete it and then reinstall it and it should run fine and smoothly like mine does now. Once it is open, your TV screen will go black, but that's just because it's going back to give it to hit. And then it'll go back to being normal and fine like this. You can move it around. And what will slowly happen is you can see it moving around on here. There's also going to be a little bit of a delay lag. But that's nothing to do with your art gallery or anything. That's just because you've got to go through this wire, through the art gallery, and through that wire, etc. That's the only reason there would be some delay lag or whatever. So now that you've finished setting up, you're now ready to record a video. All you've got to do to record is click the record button down here and simply click stop recording to stop recording. Everything you have to do is go up here, click the settings, and this thing will open up. You want to set whatever input device you've got, PlayStation 4 for me. You want to change the audio, if you're going to be capturing audio, to analog audio. Do not have it on HDMI audio, it will not capture anything analog audio profile I have mine on 180 just to enable the best quality and allow 60 frames per second the quality here you can edit it up and down completely up to you but yeah that's about it audio as well just check on here everything's good and as you can see it's actually capturing my audio now hello so yeah that's basically all set up so yeah, that is how you set up the Elgato and how you capture gameplay footage. Now however, if you want to capture sound, you're going to need to purchase one of these. It's an Elgato chat link you can get online all over this link in the description. It just means there's a long wire like this and this wire here, you plug into the sound one and your Elgato goes into there. So you plug it into there, just like that. And you've got three of them set up and it'll come back here and it gives you a little Y option. Now with this Y option what you're going to want to do is you need a headset obviously. So I've got this one, it's personal preference, I really like it. Got it from Amazon online, it's a very nice headset. You take the end wire, this one, and you plug it into this one here. Just like that. And then this here, you just plug in your t into your controller as you would if it was a normal headset like that. So then everything set up, you've got the wire going for your controller to the wire option from your headset and to the old gallery. So now the footage over here will capture your voice but also people in your party or game will also capture their voice, it's very handy. So yeah. Okay so now the final thing you're going to want to do and able to capture sound is open up the sound capture app which comes with it and select team chat. Don't worry about all of this stuff, just team chat and maybe a speakers set to whichever speakers you are. One of these ones, just select that. Then you can close that down or leave it open, any preference. And then just go back to your game capture here. And game audio, this will be where your friends talking comes up. If you just want to turn it up to about 78, I have it on 3 decibels. This is your live commentary which will come up and to enable if you've just got to click commentary. It's at the moment it's capturing as you can see. So it's a stop capturing, you just got to click that to start capturing and then it'll capture your commentary here. You select your microphone which you've got, then uh, click automatically reduce the game which will already be ticked. But yeah, and then I'll gallery here, you've just got to have this on. Remember, make sure this box is ticked. And if this is muted, then obviously just click it to unmute. And then you're ready. You can now record games with your gallery, link up like that play games, capture your own sound, your own commentary, and also your friends in your party chat. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe if you are new.